Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment under the playlist of Smart Minds. Well, today in this video we will see a burning question that was asked by many of my subscribers. That is, can we take a printout of hidden rows and columns in Excel by default? So the answer is no, it cannot be taken. Uh, if you hide a, hide a column or row in Excel, the same thing will come up in your print also by default. So to take unhidden rows and columns in Excel, either you have to unhide everything and take print out, or else you can uh, like uh, save that original file in another location. But many times it is not practical. Like uh, after a great deal of hard work, you would have hidden some very uh, confidential rows or specific columns which may not be uh, out of hundreds or thousands of rows and columns. So if you just unhide everything, it will be very difficult to again hide those files if you want to reuse that Excel file for confidentiality, confidentiality purpose. So here I'll tell you a technique, how within that Excel file you can manage unhidden files, you can manage to print unhidden files, unhidden rows and columns in Excel. So let us see how things play out in Excel in our laptop. So here, as you can see, this is the Excel file. So here, this is the table I just want to show you. For example, uh, I uh, hide some rows like uh, this 2, 2, 6, this I have hidden. I hide this and the 2, 3 rows I will hide randomly and perhaps uh, this column I will hide. So when I press print command, that is control P, you can see in the print preview, there's only the unhidden rows and columns are being printed. For example, I print it to PDF. I'll print. Right. So once I do that, yeah, this is the file. So you can see all the hidden rows and columns are not visible. Here is the Excel file. You can see here. This is the PDF. So exactly the same thing. So for unhiding, as uh, for total print of this Excel file without hiding any rows and columns, how to do that? So either I have to like unhide everything as I said you. I'll unhide this. I'll unhide rows also. I select everything and unhide, and then I can go for Control P, and in the print preview you can see all unhidden files or the total complete file is being shown here. So instead of doing that, uh, if I had like uh, hundreds or thousands of rows and same amount of uh, columns, it would be very difficult to again hide those particular rows, those particular things in Excel. So it will be very difficult for me to manage or again go for those hidden files and columns. Uh, or else I have one more option that is to save this original file in another place and uh, later I can take a print. But within this file, I will tell you one option. So here, what you have to do, first of all, you have to go to view, then custom view. First of all, you save this existing hidden view uh, in a name. For example, this is the view. I just add here, I'll just add, for example, SU1, okay, SU1. So this is the hidden view, right? And then I will unhide everything. I'll select, unhide. I'll select this, then unhide. So everything I'll unhide and then again I'll go to custom view and I will add another custom view that is SU1. I'll press OK. So this is my unhidden view of Excel. So if I like uh, press Ctrl P here, you can see the whole file is being printed. So to go back to that original hidden rows and columns view, you can do the same thing. I'll just go to custom, I'll press this SUN1. So once I do that, I get back to my original hidden rows and columns view. So here you can let her work upon your Excel file. Don't forget to name and save your hidden view as I've said you in the steps, like uh, by going to view and going to custom view and then adding, adding that hidden rows and columns view into a name so that later you can revert back to that hidden rows and columns view or else once you go to the unhidden view then you cannot come back 
or retrieve that file where you have hidden your rows and columns. So you have to first save your hidden files and columns page or view into one name. I have saved you the steps how to do that by following those steps. So once again I tell you, so first save this hidden file, hidden rows and columns into a uh, into a custom view that I have saved you before by adding uh, this particular display and naming it. So I saved it as a 7 one and later you have to unhide everything unhide unhide and then go to view custom view and add so whenever you need to take a print of unhidden rows and columns go to that unhidden rows and columns view custom view and then take a print so this is as simple as this so friends i hope you knew how to print how to easily print unhidden rows and columns in an excel because by default excel doesn't give you that option to print unhidden rows and columns by default it will come as it is looking in your excel sheet as the files are hidden as the rows and columns are hidden in excel file so friends if you found this video useful please like this video and share it across various platforms so that many people come to know of this technique of how to print unhidden rows and columns or full file in excel so friends if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so to get more of such little little technical videos to make your digital life simpler and easier. So till our next video keep watching infotainment see you again see you soon thank you.